5.06 in the morning. We're headed up to, uh, what are we going to call this, base camp? Yeah, the farm. The farm. Classroom. All right. Classroom. Head up to the classroom to begin the field survival course. I'm having my last meal before the, the fun begins. Thoughts? It's here. <laughs> it's time. It's time. <laughs> no more thinking. Just do, do. Just doing. Attention to detail. Teamwork is key. Attention to detail. Teamwork is key. On your back. On your bellies. On your back. On your back. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Left and right's hard. Okay. Got you. <laughs> They're making us solve riddles after abusing us for a few minutes. The, uh, one of the riddles was, the more you take, the more you leave behind. The more you take, the more you leave behind, and it's got a stump. <laughs> one of them was, what goes up but never comes down, and I'm guessing that's your age, or at least that's one answer to that. And the other one was, what, what drips and you blow, what drips and you blow it? <laughs> I guess your nose. I use the nose one, so he's gonna send. He wants somebody else. <laughs> go 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 go! Hey, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. Never mind. Get back here! What are you doing? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> there goes the attention to detail thing. I started thinking about it. We've got, I don't know, a dozen, fourteen guys in the class. We lost one already. <laughs> just, just out of fear, I think. It's <laughs> dark. Make the decision early enough. I'm gonna be stuck out here all night. You know, how long is it? If I don't have anything and I'm gonna have to build a shelter, how long is it gonna take me to build that shelter? A couple of friends of ours, Wazoo Survival Gear, we're all familiar with them, uh, make great, small, easily carried items when it comes to survival. Don't worry about the dot. You can put this anywhere on this line. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. One, three hours in. Mm -hmm. Two. Let him do it. Place it on your map. North facing north. I've got my map and my compass, and we're putting the map in perspective to the real world. All right. So, if we've got north to north. Here's the yeah, yeah, everything, everything's lined up. If your needle drags to one side or the other, then your azimuth is going to be off. So we're trying to do all this. So I pull on this thing just like it's a tripod or a sling. All right. I'm siding with my left eye because I'm left eye dominant. I'm adjusting this and trying to make sure that my needle is boxed perfectly inside that box. I'm picking that tree. That's my azimuth and my reference point. Okay, you don't know which tree, but I know which tree, that's what matters, right? Here's the next thing I do. I put my compass down and I walk to that tree. I don't look away, I don't drift, I don't talk to my buddies, I don't look at my feet. I get my, I get my azimuth, I double check, I put it down and I'm walking to it. This is full of widow makers. Snugging this up as we go. Keep running it around like that. And tightening it as you go. As many times as you can. And friction. We won't want to try to tie a hard knot with that. Pass that one through. Oh, 
slow down and shorten these or pull them out just a little bit here at the front. Now the part everybody loves. Nothing wrong from this one. Nothing wrong That. Patrick, you were telling us earlier that this is a shelter that you would use if you weren't planning on having a fire or couldn't get a fire. If right? I didn't have the, the means or the ability to get a fire, then, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And this will, you know, at least keep you alive. Hopefully it won't freeze to death. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's the coldest temperature you've stayed in one of these? Uh, probably in the 20s. Yeah. And, and shiver all night still? Yeah, you're still, you're cold. Yeah. Uh, if you do it right, you know, it'll cut some of that away. But, you know, if it didn't work that night, the next day, just pile more debris. More. So, yeah. More and more and more. Or figure out how to get a fire. Now both sides. Clear that close there. Yeah. So the idea here is to have a smaller entrance, less heat can escape out of that, you're cutting that down, big hole. You're trying to cut down as much uh, exposure to air as you can. And so we're going to dome that on over so the actual entrance is smaller. You would stage, if you didn't have anything, you'd stage more debris in there. So once you got in, you could rake it cap and it. cloak cap it. Got it. Yeah. And thankfully we're in this, we are surrounded by pines, long needles everywhere, which makes pretty short work of this. And we've got how many guys, a dozen, a dozen guys working on this. So it makes it go really, really fast. Some places debris shelters are not quite so debris. -y. <laughs> Even if we were in this, the front entrance was completely capped off. If we didn't have a layer of insulation under us, you're going to get very, very cold because mm -hmm. the ground is pulling that heat out of you. So, yeah. Say I'm stuck out, can't get a fire, I've got to get some kind of shelter. So what Patrick was just saying is that you can put in some, some ceiling joists basically in here and then insulate this top peak area so you're not wasting all this space and losing all that heat. Make it a little bit smaller. The bush chisel. <laughs> it works. Way you see a lot of people using these wrapped up with it. If you've ever tried to spend a cold night wrapped up one of these, they're worth it. They're great for reflecting heat. Talk to me about the ergonomics of the uh, Izulo 1.25. Well, it's got a great grip. Sure does. And that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's left of it. Now, I think it's obvious to all the viewers that the bush chisel is far superior to the Azula 1.25. <laughs> it's so many ways. <laughs> so much better. Oh, look at that. You see that? You see the bush chisel in action just then? <laughs> bush chisel, lemming. So, <laughs> it works great. <laughs> All right, so we have a challenge here. The challenge is to burn this piece of bank line into it's maybe a couple feet off the ground right there.
feed it. We go. We're gonna get it. Come on, string. Do it. Yeah. Good job. First loser. First place losers. First, you last. 27. Down. 28. Down. 29. Down. 30. This should be an eye opening experience for you. You need to think about what you've been doing and you need to make some changes in your life. Look at this guy. 70 years old. Look at him. In his prime. Look at Dale Receiver. Three, two, one, move. Got the guy in front of you. One, two, two. Go, Jason. So we're carrying a sandbag, 60 pound sandbag, a big orange oaf, a bucket of stuff, a water jug with no cap, and we're trying to navigate we, we through the woods. We all have eggs too. And we all have, and we all have an egg in which yeah. we're not supposed to break. I have two. Yeah. Two eggs. <laughs> and a 30 pound backpack. And a 30 pound backpack. All right. Oh good. Maybe 40. So maybe 40, 45 minutes for us so far. Okay, this is the way to carry it, dude, just like this. We've been tasked with finding eight different waypoints and bringing all this crap along with us. Careful down this. Oh. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Still sucking. Still tired. Still in good spirits, though. Good team. Team five is working. Team two is... Feel like we're doing pretty good no matter how much cadre has to uh tries to screw with us we're you know knocking it out making progress i figure pizzas should be delivered here in 30 45 pizza minutes. and beer any yeah, minute <laughs> yeah <laughs> well what are you doing out here man came out here because i want to learn how to survive and uh because i want to challenge and it's been challenging so far we're not even uh not even barely into it yet have you ever have you ever done anything like this before? No, I I do a lot of backpacking, but you usually get to eat when you're backpacking and uh, stay on the trail and and all that kind a of stuff. A little more comfortable. Exactly. Got the gear and yeah. stuff, shelters, tents, and. Does when I get them. Dude, tick check. There. Tick check. Is it Lone Star? Um, Currently in the process of dragging our friend. Have we named him yet? Dirty Dave. Dirty Dave. Uh, we're dragging up this mountain. Uh, and it's going well. We just have to go short bursts, kind of 10, 20 yards at a time, and then take a break. Yards or feet? Or maybe feet. <laughs> feet. It's, all rel yards, it's all relative. Yards is doing it for the gram on the yards. <laughs> There's a point. I remember whenever I was in and, there's little, and we think we're right on it. We're, we're near it. I'm not real sure where we're at. I don't know if we're over on this side or we're on... I feel like we've kind of been moving left. Yeah, that thicket kind of pushed us left, yeah. I feel like. And that's getting pretty breezy. I can... feels like some weather's coming in. Hopefully it holds out till daylight at least. It's probably 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night right now. We've been at this since 5.30 this morning. 
everybody's in pretty high spirits, but I mean, everybody's pretty tired by now, including myself. Should be just on the other side of the hilltop where we were all looking. Wait, one, two, three, up. Watch the big rock right here in the middle. One, two, three, up long. Up. Left shoulder. Forward, hard. Up long. Rock it out. Rock it out. Move. Down. Up. Up. Down. Nice. Recover. Alright, so we're attempting to build a raft to float across this here pond in front of us to get a deliver a rope to the other side. And here comes the rain. How can I help? Uh, start lashing some of these on there, yeah. however you can see fit. Just remember, it's cold outside. Is this, <laughs> has this life preserver been approved by the Coast Guard? Oh sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, yes it has. What are you doing, Jason? Uh, we're going to set sail on our yacht. Oh, our yacht. And we, we... Uh, it's going to work. Lightning. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the money shot. The Marines are interested. Saturday morning um, zero sleep so far we have been set free to build a camp and start a fire and relax for a few minutes probably is all it's gonna end up being but 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 you know and whatever shelter we build I guess with some I guess the guys are talking about building some lean-to type shelters some guys are working on building fire and I'm just collecting a little bit of kindling for it but the Sun is just now coming up it's been a long day. It is just the beginning of another day. <laughs> it is 6.30 in the morning, Saturday morning. They were real nice to us and gave us some coconut. People that walk through this noticed. Pretty tight lipped about it. <laughs> Big one? Yeah. You need the whole job? <laughs> <laughs> 
we are building that, the trebuchet. How hard could that be? So we're building a trebuchet at a field survival class, which, uh, I mean, to the untrained eye, clearly has nothing to do with real practical application to survival. <laughs> but, but unless you're going to plan on sieging something, I don't know. But, and that, that would help your survival. But what it does is it, it encourages teamwork. It encourages using your skills, not skills, woodworking, uh, bushcraft skills, and all of those things. And I just, I really enjoy the teamwork aspect of it and, and learning what each and everybody's uh, individual skills and um, strengths are. Today's definitely a much slower paced day than yesterday. Yesterday was just a pretty much a grind all day long. I'm a little bit sore, Shane. A lot bit sore. A lot a bit sore. I, I, I napped this morning. I guess we napped from like seven to nine ish. Awesome. Maybe seven to nine, which is pretty great. Just I just leaned up against a tree and just nodded off. So I, I got a little bit of a little bit of shut eye, probably an hour total. Well, yeah, it's definitely well, going that way. What are our chances? Right Talk to me. Be honest. Don't lie to me. I'll sugarcoat it. 80%. 80% I'd that we're going to hit that steel target that I can't even see on the camera. Well, if they sight it in right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, if they do their job. <laughs> I mean, speed's in the wrong direction right now. <laughs> if the thing works at all, like even like a tiny bit, it's a win. It's a victory. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to bring this to market gonna be a thing everybody's gonna want one maybe we'll make it a little longer <laughs> maybe a touch just just, just a smidge a just a skosh <laughs> is that what you just said <laughs> just a skosh bigger <laughs> it is, it is <laughs> so it is survival of some sort yeah it sure is you know what I really thought? I was like, man, if I had a chisel, I could do a curve cut. Now, a curve cut. Now, like, oh god, I have a chisel. Cut this bit <laughs> bothered me. It's over here. I'm gonna turn this over. This is why we don't have nice things. A lot of friction. You were repelling, my friend. Slow the webbing down. 
and make a number eight. Okay. And, and this is a handles. sling to carry you with. Yeah. One, two, three. Super cool. The goal for this exercise <laughs> is to find materials to build a water filter to filter some really scummy water. But we've got to go all over the map to get those materials, basically. We've gathered gravel and some charcoal. We're going to pick up some more charcoal. We've got to get sand and grass. Eight six one eight nine eight nine. Correction zero five seven four eight one six. So our objective is to filter that scummy, nasty hole there. I did probably. All right. So we got charcoal. We got sand. Great Next challenge is a downed aircraft crash site, basically, and we're supposed to scavenge and find useful, useful supplies to aid our survival. Look through all that stuff, please. See your wire. Anything good in there? Got a little. Hey, have we had anybody check this? Uh, little tin. So apparently there was a survival kit underneath the pilot seat. The Apparently the last evolution that we're engaging in right now, we've got three waypoints perhaps, and we've got an hour, I guess, to get to them, or just the first one. Okay, so we're right. Yeah. 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 Take that up. Yeah, there we go. We need some cordage. There you go. We need some cordage. Yeah, boy. Right there. There's yeah, smaller stuff. So it's about 4 a.m. And according to the cadre, this is the last thing we have to do today. We've got to carry a 55 gallon barrel full of water all the way back to camp, which is over half a mile, I think. Yeah, if you're, uh, if, if, um, if you're odd man out, hold the light. Two, one, up! Uh, forward left. march. Left. left, left, right, left. Good job. God. Good job, guys. Jason. Yep. It's so baby. <laughs> All right. All right. Damn. 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 It's Good job, get, guys. It's nothing to get y'all, Jim. It's just perfect. All right. It's almost 5 a.m., and I think we're maybe done for All right, line up. For now. Maybe not. Line up. Sunday morning, and we are building traps. So last day, Sunday, we our mission is to build a shelter. We're in teams of three. We need to build a shelter. We need to start a fire, and we need to build a trap in two hours. Bye. 
vibes for you. Nice job. Something like that. Dang, look at this La Casa. Yeah. That's fantastic. I hear it's very down. flammable. It is a very flammable. <laughs> We've had one house fire here. <laughs> one house fire. I just moved in. <laughs> and we already had one house fire. Nice. So they put they put their uh, trash bag their waterproof barrier on the inside of all of the leafy pine needle debris. Also a good tactic. Yeah. All right, we're almost done. How you doing? Oh, I'm smelling the barn. <laughs> it's, been a good, it's been a good class. Yeah, but you're ready for, ready for a hot shower? Oh, I could do it another week if I had to. <laughs> if you had to. But yeah, I'm ready for a hot shower. I'm ready uh, for some food. Yeah. You hungry? Uh. It ebbs and flows. Yeah. You know, yesterday I had two, two like real hard hunger pains that were just like, felt like your stomach's turning inside out. It only lasted maybe 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. We got busy, something, you know, it takes your mind off of it. But How, how's your body holding up? Hamstring, back, and stuff? Sore. Yeah. I mean, you're going to be sore. Uh, our little adventure last night on the water barrel. Yeah. Uh, that was rough. Put some, pulled some, uh, you know, I can feel it, but I mean, 55 gallons of water. What's that way? Well over 400. Pounds. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. Was, that was tough. Yeah. But yeah. But no, how about you? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I feel pretty good physically. But, like I'm not even really hungry right now, but like, like Shane was saying, it just kind of comes and goes. Like I'll get really, really hungry and then it'll fade. Um, but I've been staying hydrated. I feel pretty good. I'm a little sore in some places. Like my hands are a little bit sore yeah. from, just carrying a bunch of crap. My, hands are, my hands are roached. Yeah, I mean, I mean just we like, like it just like not just sore muscles, but like just the skin is sore from just carrying crap all weekend long. Blisters, uh, scrapes, cuts, lots of scrapes, in those. Yeah. sunburn. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of abuse in all all areas there. But overall, I feel pretty good, um, and I'm excited to be done and go get something to eat. I'm ready. Ha <laughs> ha